Okay, step one, we're gonna make the injectable sauce. And to start with, I put two packs of the very good goat butter and melted it. And now I'm gonna throw in a substantial amount of Gumbo Daddy's delicious Cajun seasoning. My, I have a good alligator story. Way back in the day, I was working with the Gulf Coast Wildlife Rescue. And this, now I'm putting in the good garlic salt. And while I was working with them, and the lady asked me to go ahead and drop off an alligator to the state park down the road where she had got it from because she was the, in charge of it all. Okay, garlic salt, now I'm going to splash in some Tabasco. And so I had this little baby alligator that I had to somehow or another get into this state park. So I just went into Aunt Stinky's room and um, snatched up one of her old purses that didn't have anything in it at the time. And boy, howdy, did she have a fit when she found out that I had stuck a baby alligator in her purse and dropped it off to get eight at the state park. Because we let it loose and then, boom, big old alligator come and snatched it right up. Anyway, I'm doing two lemons in here. Everything. Sure do miss that purse. Thanks, Ma. Hello, because I have never done a whole alligator before. But we finna find out how it goes. And now the other thing. I realize if this were a true zombie apocalypse, I'd be cooking over an open fire. Put in a little bit of this garlic power sauce because it's always good. But this is August on the Texas Gulf Coast. And I'm just not that crazy yet. Although, no one's working on making me. Here's Louisiana hot sauce. Put in some of that. Oh, I don't have much of that left. That's got to go on the grocery list. And now let's find out how this tastes. It needs a little more gumbo, Daddy. Not quite there, but dang close, I tell you. We are going to inject this goat butter mixture in. All right, where should we even start? Oh, uh, yeah, you might as well start at the right up here, I guess. And this is all I'm doing. I am injecting butter with spices and whatnots in it into the alligator. Okay, just one or two more squirts here, uh, making sure we got every little piece of the alligator covered with and injected with the good spices that we just did. All right, next thing, I'm going to coat the outside of, oh boy, with some olive oil here. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm fixing to spread some of Mr. Dan Pastorini's Texas style rub. We're giving his Texas style rub a workout. We're going to find out if it works. Okay, now I'm just going to sprinkle this all over the outside. We're going to wrap him up good in this saran wrap. And we're going to put him in the fridge on the top of a big old garbage can. I mean, garbage bag, uh, so he doesn't ooze gook all over my refrigerator. But it, this wouldn't be the first time gook was put all over my refrigerator. But that is not the point here. And I will tell y'all um, the exact measurements and everything. Or, well, not the exact measurements. You met me before today. But the approximate amount that needs to be used and time that it cooks once I figure it out. Because, you know, we're just going to cook him till he's done. It'll be on the website. Okay, guys. Now, Big Al here has been chilling in the refrigerator for uh, about four hours. Okay? And so, we tend to put him in the oven. But before he goes in the oven, I want to make uh, something to baste him with. Because don't nobody like it all dried out. So, I got my olive oil. I'll put that in here. And of course, you know i got to use the, the garlic salt that I like. And Gumbo Daddy's Yummy Deliciousness. And I'm going to squeeze a lemon in here. Y'all don't forget, October 5th and 6th, Jump for the Rose. Got out of Spaceland Houston. If you want to be there, we got a lot of neat raffle tickets. I'm keeping the squeezed lemons because we're going to put these on top of Big Al here once we get him in the oven. The last thing I'm adding to this little baste I'm making 
is some liquid smoke because we're not putting him on the grill today. We're trying to keep things relatively simple. And I'm not real sure how long to cook him, but my temperature thing does not have reptile or alligator on it. So, uh, but I did see on the interwebs, I saw that it should be up to 165. So that's what we're going to go for on it. And I need to taste this marinade real quick. Make sure I got enough pep in it. That is tasty. That is very tasty. Get my handy dandy paintbrush. And I'm just going to paint him up some. We aren't going to get too, too fancy with it. And I cannot wait to find out how this comes out. Okay, guys. Big Al going in the oven at 275. And don't ask me for how long. I don't have a clue. Okay. I have been basting this. Remember, I made that baste point here. I've been basting, these, basting this old boy about every half hour. And now, since we got the lemons are getting kind of squarely looking, I believe I'm going to go ahead and pull them. And we're going to baste again. He is coming right along. That is for sure. Mm -mm -mm, this looks good. Now this looks some tin kind of tasty. He might be done earlier than I was thinking he was going to be. We're going to have to check his temperature too. And we are at 110, so we still got a little while to go. Okay, guys, just to keep things moving here, let me give you a quick rundown of what had happened was. I started the oven on 275, but it looked like after, when I went in to baste it 30 minutes, it looked like it was getting cooking too fast, getting too brown on the outside. So I lowered the oven to 250. When it got to 145 degrees, then I cranked the oven up to 300 to brown and crisp up the out, outside of it. But, and I baste every half hour. Now let's see what Jump for the Rose sponsors thought. How is it? What is the verdict? That's pretty good. Okay, let's get Lita a little piece. Here's a little tasty piece. That's the taste. It's wonderful. No, it it's pretty good. You have really outdone yourself this time. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much for supporting Jump for the Road. Yes. Okay, you ready? Cook. Guys. Have fun. Give back.